Good afternoon all and welcome back to another Red Fox Outdoors video. Today I uh, got another good one for you. I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Uh, about two weeks or so. Been doing a lot of stuff here at the house. Just been so busy. I really haven't had a whole lot of time to really film and make any uh, videos for you guys and I apologize for that. So today I'm going to try and get this one done for y'all and get it up by this afternoon um, or this evening rather so that you can see it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my actual uh, go bag or my get home bag or whatever you want to call it. Um, basically it's my kind of go bag um, and so I've got it kind of packed up and ready to go. So. Let me go grab it and we'll be right back guys. Okay guys, we're back. I've got my bag here. It's kind of my little go bag or get home bag or um, kind of my SHTF bag, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and break it down real quick and uh, we'll get you a, uh, a video made here. So anyway, I've got a uh, backpack. I think it's made by Fox Tactical, if I can remember correctly. Um, I don't actually remember. I think it's Fox Tactical. I cannot remember. It's been so long since I've had this thing. I've had this thing for years and years and years and years. So... Anyway, it's got a detachable uh, pack here. It's supposed to have two more detachable packs, which I don't have yet. And this is kind of the setup that I've got. So let me go ahead and detach this real quick. Take it off of here. So, this is my little kind of go pouch. I just unattach it real quick. And it's got Molly on the front, Molly on the back, Molly on the side. Each little zipper compartment here. So, I've got a Mylar space blanket in the, in this, uh, left pocket over here In this right pocket I've got my water filter by Sawyer it's a Sawyer mini water filter you can get them for about twenty twenty five dollars and then in the front pocket here I've got like all my food I've got some beef jerky I've got some granola bars stuff like that go right here in the front pocket easy access quick and easy to get to and then here I've got some uh, body wipes just kind of for cleanliness and that kind of thing so those go in there quick and easy to get to so I can clean up before I eat and that kind of thing I've got a little clip handle clips in place so you can carry it like that from the top uh, it is adjustable it's got the little adjustable buckles on it so you can adjust it up or down so that's that little pack and I'm gonna set it over here to the side and for those of you that have uh, watched some of my previous videos you'll recognize this is my little EDC bag um, it goes carried with me everywhere and it gets put in my backpack with me when I go. So that, I'm going to set that to the side. Y'all can go back and watch that video. I'll put a link um, right up here in the corner. Alright, so now on to the backpack itself. So I have a military wool blanket and it is strapped to the bottom with the uh, the molly straps here on the bottom and then it 
goes with me everywhere that I go with the backpack and that kind of stuff. So, in the first pocket, I've got my Life Straw water filter. I have a couple of extra straps for attaching to the Molly on the backpack. A rechargeable flashlight and it has several modes. It's got a high, a medium, a low, and then like a strobe function. And then if you look real close right here, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Right there, I've got a little USB charger right here. And if I turn it, it's got that little USB mini charger. It's not the C, it's just a little USB mini. And then I can close it back up, keep it watertight. So that goes in my pack with me. Now let me zoom back out here. Got another flashlight with a uh, surprisingly actually it's actually like a little soap bottle and I took and cut the top off of it and duct taped it to the flashlight so it gives me a kind of a softer duller light to it's not quite so harsh and it hangs up and I can use it kind of like a lantern or something like that so anyway kind of another idea and then I've got a full tang knife that my brother made me out of a uh, railroad spike. And he blacksmithed that for me. My brother is a really fantastic artist. So that's the front side. There's the back side. And then I've got in case of an emergency, I've got some throwing knives that I can use at any point if I need to. And then, as you can see, I get it up in here kind of tight here. Alright, so. As you can see right here, I've got these three tins here. The two outer ones are a fire kit that has um, some fire tinder. It has a little tin with some, a ranger band on it. Take the little ranger band off. And then, let me hold it up here. It's got the fatwood shavings. It's got some fatwood in it some jute twine, it's got a ferro rod and a striker which is down below underneath everything. So it's a nice little fire kit. I got two of those that I keep on me at all times. You just never know. Fatwood's always a good thing to have. And this one here is another little fire kit. It's in a little um, kind of a brass um, tin. Ow, that hurt. And in here, I've got some charred cloth and my uh, striker. And then in my pouch in here, put this back. And over here in my pouch. I've got my flint, so I've got my striker in that little container, and then my charred cloth, and then my, my flint. And then I got a six inch by a half inch ferro rod, which you can see has seen some use. Got some duct tape. And all I've done is just taken, kind of wrapped it up on itself. I've got about 10 feet of duct tape here. And if none of that works, always nice to have a couple of Bic lighters. Just the little minis. So that's all that's in that little pouch. So let me put all that back up in here. Alright. 
Alright, so another thing I carry with me is a headlamp. It's got the bright white, medium, and then the red light, flashing red, and then off. Okay, and then in the two side pockets here, let me zoom back out some. Alright, in the two side pockets here and here, I have the water filter and water bottle for the life straw which has a filter already built into it have an extra one just in case so that's what's in both of those pockets that. okay and that's the same thing that's over here in the other pockets just another water bottle uh, holds about a liter of water and then same thing over here a liter of water bottle here All right now on the front. I've got all these um, Carabiners I got a little s beaner by night ties another s beaner by night ties a small s beaner by night ties Copper keychain holder. Uh, I can always attach other stuff to it all the time. It's a little bit springy uh, and I've got some Molly ties and another carabiner that unscrews and then a little float. Alright, now over here in this little side pocket, which is here on the front, I've got all of my um, mosquito repellent, I've got alcohol, I've got hand sanitizer, I've got my first aid kit, my IFAC is all in this little front pocket here my individual first aid kit I've got some well they keep falling out of here but I had some uh, safety pins and all that is in this front pocket here so my individual first aid kit hand sanitizer um, a trauma kit um, all that mosquito repellent uh, super glue band-aids all that's all in this little front pocket here. Got the safety pins real quick, put them back in here. Alright. Now open this up. Now in this kind of middle pocket here. Got a bag of zip ties, the really long ones, the 14 inch ones. Always good to have for any reason. And then I've got another uh, tie for attaching to the Molly where I can attach stuff to the backpack. Got my knife, I got a full tang. Damascus blade knife. Got deer antler for the handle. And then it's got an alligator sheath that it goes in. There you go. You can see kind of the alligator sheath there. And then I've got my comms. So you gotta have comms anytime you're going out. You gotta have a way to communicate. And I've got two different ones. I've got a Yesu um, F270. Yeah, FT270 Yesu. And then I've got an extra battery for it. And then I've got my other two-way. It's pronounced Ocean. So Wuxon, W W O U X O N or U N or something like that. But it's pronounced Ocean. It's another uh, ham radio, kind of like the Biofang uh, U5R sort of. So those are in there. back in 
near. Uh, then I've got a little esbit stove with the little esbit cubes in it so that way I can cook something if I need to. And then I've got some more water purification. Got the little iodine tablets and stuff like that for water purification. All that's down in there. Put that back up in here. So that's it of what's in that compartment there. And then I don't have it with me right now, but I normally carry my little small billy pot for uh, boiling water and making food and stuff like that, which is not in here right now. I took it out and never put it back because I forgot to put it back in here after washing it. So, anyway, now this back pocket here, inside here, I have an extra pair of wool socks. I got an extra pair of clothes. I have some waterproof, watertight bags. Um, very handy to have so you can put like your wallet and keys and stuff like that you don't want getting wet um, by keys I mean like those little plastic key fobs and stuff for your vehicles um, that kind of stuff any kind of identification cards stuff like that you can put them in these little bags and it'll keep them nice and dry and I've got a big old hunk of paracord for my ridge line for my tarp so if I want to make a, uh, a shelter, I can do that. Put that down in there. Big old hank of paracord there. And the only other thing I have in here, uh, I can get it open, is a shemog and this is always a good thing to have. This thing could be used for cover. It could be used to purify water. Uh, you can use it to start a fire with, that kind of stuff. Same thing with the band uh, bandana. This is an elephant brand bandana. And I keep both of those in here. Put those back. That's in that pocket there. And then the only other thing I have in here is my hammock and under quilt system. And that's all in here as well. And I really don't want to take it out because it's really hard to put back in here. And then underneath that I have a pair of thermals which I wear for during the winter. So those stay in there along with an extra pair of clothes. So I've got uh, shirt, I've got a pair of pants, I've got um, underwear, socks, I've got my extra pair of thermals and all that in this back pocket back here. And then in the very back, spin this around here, uh, in the back back here, it's got all this nice padding and I took the, uh, the waist belt and just kind of shoved it in this little pocket here where it goes. The belt's not, it's its still attached, it's just on the inside here. I've got it folded up, but it's got a waist belt for carrying. Uh, it's got a uh, chest strap that goes across your chest to kind of keep it together. It's adjustable. You got adjustable up here. You got some D-rings. And then in here, in the very back, I've got a three liter water bottle that goes attached up in here in the back. And, that's pretty much kind of my go bag. And then for my shelter, I've got a 9x7 um, camo, kind of a plastic tarp, I guess. Um, I do have several other tarps that I use, but this is the main one that I use. Uh, it's a 9x7. I also have in my truck, which stays in my truck, is a 15x15 tarp. Um, which actually I need to take it out and 
clean it because it got pretty nasty the other day. Uh, it's all molded up on the inside, so I need to take and undo it and put it back up. But anyway, um, 9x7 camo tarp is my, my shelter. So if I need to get out of the rain, I can use it as a poncho or I can use it to uh, wrap up in or I can just make me a shelter of some kind. Uh, I can use it as a sunshade. I can hang it in some trees and make me a, a deal to set above my table so that way I don't get sunburned, that kind of thing. So anyway, that's my, sh that's my whole entire setup. That is my go bag, get home bag. Um, that's the whole setup. That's everything that goes in it. That's everything I carry with me. And this pack weighs roughly about 40 pounds. About 35 to 40 pounds. So very easy to carry, not real heavy. Um, like I said, I still got my, uh, my cook pot that goes in here to boil water with and stuff like that which is not in here oh one other thing that's also in here that I forgot to mention um, just because I didn't want to dig it out is I actually have a bushcraft grill in here that I can set on some rocks to set my pots and stuff on so that's also in here as well and it's underneath everything in the very very bottom of the, the backpack uh, two other things that I also have in here are uh, folding saws so I've got a folding saw on this side and a folding saw over here on this side for processing wood uh, one's Fiskars and the other one is uh, Walmart brand I think I forget which one it is let me get the tarp out of the way real quick yeah it's the Walmart brand so I've got a and they're all like strapped in so they don't move but down here in the very bottom let me see if I I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it, guys. I just I don't want to open this thing up and try digging out. But anyway, I've got a little green Walmart brand little hand saw that you can get back in the camping section. So that's my setup, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it and. Uh, that's the whole thing so till next time guys i've been red fox with red fox outdoors till next time get out and enjoy nature bye guys